Good morning to you. It is Coffee with Pastor on June the 27th of 2024. Nice hot cup of coffee right here, ready to be enjoyed. My copy of the Word of God is open to Titus chapter 2, the book of Titus and the second chapter. I hope you join me there. I hope you follow along with me as I read it. It is a very brief 15 verses, but we will be there in just a few moments. Let's turn our attention to our point to ponder. This comes to us by way of Corey Tenboom. And she says, Dear Jesus, how foolish of me to have called for human help when you are here. Dear Jesus, how foolish of me to have called for human help when you are here. Certainly, we do not look to and we do not put our, our faith in Christ enough. We turn to things that we can see, things that we can experience, as opposed to turning our attention in faith to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the Almighty God, to the God who has pledged his love and his faithfulness to us. So again, keep that in mind, meditate on it throughout the day, and when you are faced with a circumstance, Take the opportunity to turn to God for help. It is nine o'clock. That means it's time for us to bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Glorious Lord, thank you for a brand new day. A day that is full of promise. A day that is full of opportunities. And Lord, we come into your presence and ask that today we would be pleasing to you. Guide us each step of the way. Guide us each action, each decision that we need to make. And Father, we look to you for your sustaining grace, for your enablement, for your empowerment, for the grace to stay faithful to you in all things. Father, I want to say thank you for each one that joins us here today. I want to say thank you for their faithfulness. The Father, that your word might have its work in our hearts and in our lives changing us and conforming us into the image of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us, guide us, and direct us. Teach us from your word. May your spirit have free course in our lives. And Father, as we have prayed so many times, we pray for your richest blessings upon your people. Lord, you know what we stand in need of. Certainly there are things that we want, but they are certainly not needs. So Lord, we come before you and ask that you would provide our needs. Bless us in that way. Father, help us to turn our attention to you when we need Father, help us to be aware of your constant presence with us, your love and your grace, your mercy. Help us to realize that there's not a need that we have that you are not aware of and that you are not capable of meeting. So, Father, again, thank you for this glorious, glorious time that we have together. Bless your word. Bless your people. And certainly, Father, bless this day. As we go about our business, or better yet, going about your business. Father, may we be pleasing to you. May you smile upon us. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. We are in Titus chapter 2. 
But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men may be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men, likewise exhort to be sober-minded, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound in speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say to you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Let me just say this. Regardless of what our age is, there's no age too young and there's no age too old to where we are not held to the godly standard. As this verse 12 tells us, that we should live soberly, righteous, and godly in this present world. It doesn't matter how old. It doesn't matter how young. Older men, older ladies. Younger men, younger ladies. Soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Beloved, again, we're going to call you to faithfulness. We're going to encourage you in all things to be faithful to God. He will never, never leave you. He will never, never forsake you. He will never... And it is for us to be faithful to him and to never allow ourselves to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the blessed gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, you are loved. We love you. More importantly, God loves you. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.